Hey everybody, it's Patrick. It's Tuesday, and on Tuesdays I talk about long hair. It seems like every day I hear from more and more guys who are growing out their hair, and that's fantastic. I think that the long hair community has been terrific on YouTube, and I also really like the fact that more and more guys are exploring the different hair options that are available to them. While everybody has their reasons for growing out their hair, there are certain reasons that I think might want to give you pause if that's the reasoning why you are growing out your hair. Not that you should necessarily decide not to grow out your hair, but maybe take a look at your motives and see if it's the right choice for you at this time. Today I'm going to go over five reasons why you may want to reconsider growing your hair. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't grow your hair long, but possibly if these are the reasons that you are growing out your hair, you may want to reconsider before you make the commitment. Number five, if you are being told by somebody that you should grow your hair and it's not something that you've thought about yourself, maybe stop to reconsider. While spouses, loved ones, and friends might be able to give you tips on whether or not a certain style works for you, in the end, it really is about your own personal style. So don't let other people pressure you into growing your hair the same way you wouldn't want to let somebody pressure you into cutting your hair. Number four, don't try to cover up a bald spot or thinning hair or any other problems with your head or your facial features with the hair. Remember that the hair is pretty much going to grow in the same pattern that it's growing right now. So if it's thin on top or if you've got something on your crown that you're trying to cover, you would have to do a lot of styling in order to try to get that to cover. And a comb over is really not a great look for anybody, no matter what the length of your hair. The third reason I think that you shouldn't grow your hair is if you're trying to look like a specific celebrity or if you're going for a very specific style. Now this doesn't really count if you have already grown your hair and you know how your hair looks, but if this is the first time you're growing your hair, you may want to consider that your hair can grow differently than you expect. A lot of times if you've only had short hair, your hair changes in texture, it can even change in color in some ways. Uh, short hair tends to look a lot darker, short hair doesn't show a lot of the curl that you're looking for, and sometimes it can even grow in a different manner than you're expecting. So if you think that your hair is going to grow in a specific way and you'll be able to style it in a specific way, think again and just be prepared for the fact that your hair well, it's going to do its own thing, and you're going to have to deal with the way that it looks no matter how it grows out. Also, remember, if you're trying to look like a celebrity who is on a television show or in a movie and you've seen a specific hairstyle in that television show or that movie, they probably are wearing a wig or at least hair extensions. For the most part, you don't have the same hair on screen that you have in real life. Uh, if you look at celebrities who have long hair, when they're out in public, they generally have it pulled back or it looks very different than it does on screen. So probably you're not going to look like one of the Avengers or someone on The Walking Dead if you have your hair in the same style that you think that they're growing. You also don't have a team of beauty experts fixing your hair every time you go around. The second reason I think you shouldn't grow your hair is if you're using it to rebel. Now, rebellion has come with growing your hair before, uh, certainly in certain social situations or certain political situations, uh, guys have grown out their hair. Hippies certainly did it, and it has been used to show that someone's being nonconformist. However, today, in 2016, it's pretty much accepted that if you want to grow hair, you can, and if you're going to be making a political statement or rebelling, are you going to really want to wait two, three, maybe even three years before your hair gets to a point where it actually makes the statement for you? And the number one reason I think that you shouldn't grow your hair is kind of related to something I talked about before, which is a very specific style, especially a very specific trend. Remember that trends only last a certain amount of time. They usually are here and gone within a season. And growing your hair is a years long process. If you have very short hair, especially if you have a buzz cut, even if you have a short undercut, it will take about two years for your hair to get to a long hair stage. So if you're growing your hair out in order to get a specific style that isn't something that you can grow out in say three to six months, that style might be out of style for a better way to put it, than, uh, than you might expect. So remember that you should take a style with your hair that you're going to be happy with for a very long time, because it will take you a very long time to grow up. 
Thanks very much for joining me. I am here every Tuesday talking about long hair. There's some other things on my channel that you might want to check out. On Thursdays, I make three ingredient recipes, and on weekends, my cat George talks about good self-esteem. If you'd like to, you can subscribe down below, and if you have any questions about long hair or something that you'd like me to research, please leave me a comment and I will do my best to get back to you. Until I see you again next time, thanks for joining me.